Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the feature for the perpendicular to entries. Now, yeah, that's going to be for the CAD feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, if we head into the program here, I'm just going to remove this from our previous tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the, like I mentioned, the feature perpendicular and then it says the two entries. So there's this icon over here um, next to the square or rectangle. So now in order to use this, I'm first going to quickly add two um, lines just so you guys can get an idea of what's happening. First one, I'm just going to go 100 on the horizontal. And then this next one, I'm going to have a bit of an offset. So I'm going to make the height, say about 20. And then I'm going to go this one about 80 to the sideways. And let's go about 50 up. So there we go. We've got our two lines. Let's just center this nicely so we can see what's happening. Now, in order to work this feature, you're going to have to select both your shapes or your lines and then use the hotspots but you'll see it works slightly different like if i select this option and i go to a hotspot how it's going to work if i click this hotspot over here at the bottom it's going to make how can i say and let's just demonstrate it so if i click here it will make the perpendicular line to that point from the uh, perpendicular to this line so it's the one you click on it's going to um, become the origin point, another origin point, the uh, destination point, but the perpendicular line is going to be from the other shape. So if I just select these two again, click on it, and let's select, uh, select the top one this time. Now you can see it's a straight line in a vertical axis because I clicked on this point, so it's taking the angle of this line. So that is something to keep in mind. It can be confusing at first, but just keep in mind that you want to you want the line to be perpendicular with this line you have to click on the opposite lines point that you want to do it to so it's a handy little tool you can obviously use something like that as a guide if you wanted to remove it and uh, it can get quite complex with the outcome but yeah otherwise that is it on the perpendicular line to uh two entries and uh in the meanwhile though if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training video you're looking for just simply go here request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers